This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma la ilma lana illa ma allamtina. Innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. Allahumma allimna ma yinfa'una wa anfa'na bima tu'allimna. Wazidna min fadlika ilman wa amalan wa fadlan ya arhamar rahimin. Allahumma zidna wa la tunqusna wa akrimna wa la tuhinna wa a'atina wa la tahrimna wa athirna wa la tu'thir alayna wa ardina wa arda'anna ya arhamar rahimin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So let's continue with the ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. So we've had the discussion about divorce and how it should be done and how it should not be done and which things are interdicted. And um, So the discussion now goes off onto um, the issue of children. And this ayah, so the, we're still in the thread of divorce, but as a side point, which is, that, which is still connected, uh, is uh, regarding children and the weaning of children. Because sometimes... You know, subhanAllah, you know, so, um, sometimes uh, these things happen and you know, there are children involved and sometimes a child is young, you know, just, just still a baby. So there's a matter of, you know, nursing the child, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses that directly, right? So let's look at the ayah. He says, وَالْوَالِدَاتُ يُرْضِعْنَ أَوْلَادَهُنَّ حَوْلَيْنِ كَامِلَيْنِ لِمَنْ أَرَادَ أَنْ يُتِمَّ الرَّضَاعَةِ Okay, so mothers may breastfeed their children two complete years for whoever wishes to complete the nursing period. And upon the father is the mother's provision and their clothing according to according to what is acceptable. Okay, so <clears throat> so the ayah starts with the, with, with the term al-walidat, plural of walida which is the lady who gives birth to someone, so the mothers, right? And obviously this term is used um, <clears throat> to, you know, to move emotions, you know, to make someone realize, yeah, this is my child, you know, because sometimes, like I said, uh, you know, sometimes <clears throat> um, in case of divorce or other situations, you know, when people are upset with others, you know, people might, you know, due to the anger, uh, they might refuse, to to do something which they would otherwise normally naturally do. So here <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds them of this this blessing that you know you've you've been given a child, you're the walida, right? So wal walidatu yurdi'na awladahunna. And <clears throat> so the ayah is saying that you know and the mothers, you know, um we no we uh, the mothers uh Suckle the child, so basically feeding the child uh, themselves, you know, breastfeeding the child. And obviously, there's a lot of <clears throat> discussion on this, and there's a lot of benefit, you know, in this. And uh, who's the best person for the child? It's the mother, right? In the past, in the past, in certain cultures, especially amongst the Arabs, they used to uh, hire other ladies, a vetter, right? It would be a lady who's currently you know, breastfeeding her own child, and then she would look after this child as well, especially with the rich. You know, the the the, uh, the nanny, you could say, would come and, uh, would come and, you know, feed the child, you know, look after the child, change the child's clothes, all sorts of stuff, right? just look after the child. And so uh, this is, once again, it's, it's a statement uh, in which there's, um, a command but the command is isn't necessarily for obligation it's it's a recommendation that you know mothers can, should you know breastfeed their child we talk about the term uh, <clears throat> or in or it's it's it's, it's an obligation if uh, you know for the mothers if the the child will not drink from anyone else and that's the case at times Sayyidina Musa Allah made it so that he wouldn't drink anyone's milk except for his own mother's, right? 
or if if getting a nanny is not possible right uh, or you know the father is unable to you know pay for it or you know or uh, you know you know other, other 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 such situations right so in that case it would become wajib obligatory on the mother and <clears throat> so he said uh, right. so and he said the mothers the ladies who give birth you know are to suck uh, are to suckle their own children you know so there's a lot of encouraging in this look it's your child right do it right how kamilaini for two full years so here we're talking about <clears throat> lunar years and a lunar year <coughs> <coughs> as you know a lunar year is 11 days shorter than a solar year <coughs> just 355 days uh, so that's the maximum period right and then, you know that there's a lot of benefit in this better than uh, formula milk because uh, the, the first few days after birth um, lady produces something called colostrum <coughs> say like a yellow liquid and and there's a lot of uh, you know um, benefit for the ch benefit for the child's immune system, uh, but you know through drinking that, and then she produces milk and you know uh, there, there there's something which transfers you know that does you know um, <clears throat> what's his name? Imam Al Juraini Abu Maali I believe uh, his his father his father uh, was very particular about you know how his child was raised and he grew up to be a huge Imam. And uh, and so one day his yeah, his father came home and you know he, he found out he realized that you know a particular lady um, who he didn't see as you know uh, as as being of the caliber uh, maybe in her dean or in, in some other form you know he didn't want her um, uh, we you know suckling his child you know because of this concept of this transfer. And so you know, he, he took he took the child off her, and uh, he put his finger in the child's mouth to make him vomit. <laughs> so Imam Al Juraini, Allahu Alam, right? Anyway, Imam Al Juraini said, in later he was a big scholar, especially in theology and Shafi'i fiqh. <coughs> so he would debate people, and whenever he lost a debate, he'd, he'd say, "It's because some of that milk still, <laughs> still you know, remained within me." So he blamed that. Um, <laughs> generally, you know, it's, it's preferable for the mother, and uh, otherwise, you know, a, a righteous person, you know, to uh, to to suckle the child. And <clears throat> like I said, there's you know, there's seen it's seen that there's 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 more than the, just the milk which is taken by the child. And then he says, "Liman arada an rada'a for whoever wants to complete the term of." Uh, this term of two years right so there's an indication within that that it's not necessary to do it for the full two years the parents can choose to you know you know have it you know, stopped earlier right <clears throat> you know and just move the child onto solid foods or whatever but it's ideal uh, to continue you know the breastfeeding for uh, you know for the for the full term right the child benefits you know a lot uh, you know physically and even some 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 people have even uh, talked about you know the IQ of the child increasing with every month of <clears throat> sustained breastfeeding. But Allahu Alam <clears throat> and so then he says Wa'ala al Mawludi Lahu Rizkuhunna wa kiswatuhunna and it's uh, an obligation on uh, the father, right? Al Mawlud Lahu, right? <clears throat> so it's obligation on the father their rizq so their sustained provision throughout this this time, um, and their clothing is um, is an obligation uh, for the father, right? And, uh, so uh, clearly, if if they're still married, then obviously that's part of the, in the husband's responsibility anyway. But if they were to get, if they were to to hire someone, he would have to. He would have to pay this, right? Um, so, what about what about the mother? Can she charge the, the father for you know for for, for uh, suckling the child? And according to the Hanafis, no. As long as she's in a nikah with him, she's married to him, or she's in the, in, in the idda because the rulings of the nikah continue. Uh, no. Afterwards, you know, they could come to an agreement. 
And, you know, and according to Imam Shafi'i, um, uh, it, 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 it's permissible. Right. So then he said, Bil Ma'roof, once again, wrapped up in goodness. So you look at the whole situation, you look at the father, you look at, the, you look at um, whoever's breastfeeding the child, and you look at the situation, and you find the most amicable and the best situation, wrapped up in universally recognized goodness. That's what you want. And it's interesting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls the father Al-Mawlud, Al-Mawludi Lahu, which literally means, if you take the literal text, it's, the one for whom the child was born, <coughs> right? So this indicates that, you know, children are ascribed to their fathers, right? So the lineage goes through the father, right? That's why, um, you know, you have the, the name of your, of your father as, generally you have the name of your father uh, as, your, as your surname right? in, in, in Islam. Um, and <coughs> so this lamb, the lamb of istihfaq, I believe. So, so there are other rights that come with this as well. So, for example, um, uh, some of the ulama discuss the topic of uh, who has the right to name the child, because sometimes this can lead to argumentation and problems. So, it would be the father's right, right? And uh, <clears throat> so, it, it, it's an interesting term. He has to provide for them, and this, this term word has a mean of uh, continued, sustained. Provision and kiswa to him and clothing, right? Bil ma'roof. And then the, the ayah continues. La tukallafu nafsun illa wus'aha. No person is charged with more than, the, more than, more than his capacity. La tudarra walidatun bi waladiha wa la mawludun lahu bi waladih. And no mother should be harmed through her child and no father uh, through his child. وَعَلَى الْوَارِثِ مِثْلُ ذَلِكَ And upon the father's heir is a duty like that, right? And if they both desire, وَإِنْ فَإِنْ أَرَادَ فِصَالٍ عَنْ تَرَادٍ مِنْهُمَا وَتَشَاوُرٍ فَلَا جُنَاحَ عَلَيْهِمَا And if they both desire weaning through mutual consent from both of them and consultation, there is no blame upon either of them. Okay, so he says, لَا تُكَلَّفُ نَفْسٌ إِلَّا وُسْعَهَا So, he comes from the word taklif, <coughs> kallafa, <coughs> which, mean, which means to place a burden, right? And so here it's legal responsibility, right? In, so in the taklif in the general sense in Asia means legal responsibility. You have to do this and you don't, you can't do that. And if you do this, you're rewarded. If you do this, you're sinful, right? You could be punished. So here, what's being said is, um, <coughs> It's a reason for saying rizq and kiswa is, is bil ma'roof. You can't have someone who's suckling a child and then asking for extortionate amounts. And you can't have the, the father when he's able to pay something fair and, you know, uh, reasonable where he's paying next to nothing, saying that's all you're getting, right? So, you know, and, you know, like and if, it's, if it's a case of divorce and, you know, he's, he's paying the mother, <clears throat> you know, they've been divorced, he's paying the mother for it. Then, bil ma'roof as well, like, you know, what he can manage and what's good for her. And you look at the entire situation, and you see this in the Sharia, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't specify a fixed amount, but, you know, it's a test. We're all tested. It's a test. Do what you can in the best way. Try to aim for the best, right? So, bil ma'roof, universally recognized goodness. Lest someone think, well, you know what, I don't care. I'm not going to pay this much or whatever. Allah is saying, you know, you're being tested for everything, right? So do do it with, in the best way. Do it with good. Then he says, لا تكلف نفس إلا وسعها. No person, no soul is to be <coughs> burdened with anything but what it can do, right? So, you know, if the father can only afford a certain amount, you know, there, there can't be any sort of demands from the mother. Or, or from the judge, you know, for, for him to pay three times that much. Right? If, if you can't afford it, then, you know, then you work with what you have. Uh, what is it? As we've seen in Surah Al-Talaq. Uh, you know, someone... Uh, uh, so, you know, whatever the, the wealthy can afford, then, you know, they get that amount. Whatever the poor can afford, then they get that amount. Right? <coughs> so here, 
is la tukallafu nafsun illa wusaha so you know no demands are to be made, be made on the mother either which is which are beyond her capacity to do right so you have a general understanding of this whole concept this is what the mother will do this is what the you know how much the father will give and like that right or you know if someone's being hired and he says la to bara and this is a command uh, it's, it's a prohibition right la to bara walidatun bi waladiha no harm do not harm the mother <coughs> through her child so <clears throat> don't put the mother in a situation where you know she's she's going to be harmed now this is mentioned first because ladies in general <clears throat> uh have softer hearts right you know they 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 feel the emotions more keenly and more readily than men do so you know don't use this situation or don't do anything in the situation you know to to harm the mother because of the child through the child right and you know just giving like <clears throat> you know putting her in a situation where she feels an obligation is my child I've got to look after him but you know and then not giving her enough for her you know this is after you know <clears throat> until the two years is up right um and then la tukallafu naf la tukallafu na sorry to that wala la tubarra walidatun bi waladiha do not harm the mother through her child wala mauludun lahu bi walade and neither can you harm the father through the child in any way right so both sides need to have this concept of ma'ruf in their mind and you know these are situations that that show a person's mettle these are situations that show what kind of person you are that <clears throat> the situations of marriage and you know, divorce and these sorts of situations when you're upset are you going to do what's right or are you going to just go and wrong someone are you can go do wrong on someone right so <clears throat> yes you have the pain you have you know but when it comes to your actions <coughs> when it comes to your actions how are you going to act yeah and then he says wa'ad al-warithi mithlu dhalik and that same <coughs> that that same obligation of providing the risk and the clothing the food the maintenance and the clothing uh, that is on the father <coughs> that is also on the warith the heir the inheritor so meaning if the father dies then who, so there are two positions either is we're talking about the father uh who dies and then so who would inherit him from him directly who's the next of kin whether it's his father or it's you know um you know like like you know it would be a brother uh, in this situation uh the asabat you could say that's one position but you know whoever it stands to inherit you know after the child obviously um <clears throat> you know sometimes uh, in inheritance you know if if there's if a person has a, has a child and your siblings then the child takes it all the siblings don't get anything so then there's also the position of that it, 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 the warith being the warith of the child so if the father is uh, um the father's deceased and the child the baby if he was to pass away then you know who who they inherit from him the relatives the closest you know male relatives and you know, or you know from the mother side um so it, it's 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 on them right they have to provide uh, for um the, for whoever's suckling the child mithlu <clears> dhalik <throat> so then we, we have the uh, when the eye comes back fa in arada fisalan an taradin minhuma and if they if they both really want to solve which is <coughs> the <coughs> the weaning before the two two years is up if they both want the child to be weaned and taradin min huma and this decision is uh, stems from mutual agreement <coughs> the father agrees okay <coughs> let's have him weaned and the mother agrees wa tashawurin and you know what tashawurin and tashawur from mashwara it's it's to to agree, to sit and discuss and agree and come to and come to a conclusion right and it's uh, the root word from tashawur it means to take something out so it's as though 
you're discussing to take out your your opinion and get the other person's opinion so you so it's out there <coughs> which makes sense you know you talk to them you lay down lay down the pro, pros and the cons so they're both happy with it and they've had a discussion <coughs> then there's no sin there's no criticism there's no blame junah as we know from janah uh, is uh, is a wing so you have two wings to fly if one is absent you can't fly you kind of just flow off you know being affected by that one wing so you know being moved <clears throat> by that one wing so there'd be no uh, balance so this is um <clears throat> this is metaphorically used for that state of imbalance it's metaphorically used for sin so there's no sin on them you don't have to do the full years it's your choice but what you have to do is you have to have what they call another you know which you have to have the child's best interests in mind right and if you want to <clears throat> um, uh, and if to, if you want to continue to have your child suckled فَلَا جُنَاحَ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذَا سَلَّمْتُمْ مَا آتَيْتُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ then there's no sin upon you there's no criticism or censure or blame if you you go and you, you readily give um, uh, what is owed right بالمعروف so the translation <coughs> is, uh, and if you have, and if you if you wish to have your children nursed by a substitute, there is no blame upon you. Uh, uh, um, so obviously, if the mother doesn't want to do it, uh, or she's unwell, you know, getting someone else, there's no blame on you <coughs> as long as you give payment according to what is accepted. Ida salam tum so salama is is to hand something over. Ma ateitum what you literally means what you what you've given. But the, because of the usage of the Arabic, it means that when you hand over what you're going to give or what you're expected to give, right? Or what you intend to give. Bil ma'roof. So you make an agreement, come, that's my child, and you have the whole discussion, you clarify everything. And then, you know, if you want this to happen, then if you, you pay them what you know, what you agree, and this agreement is done, bil ma'roof, and it's, it's all, you know, so wrapped up, wrapped up in... Uh, in universally recognized goodness, no problem, right? There's no sin. What Allah and you know, be fearful of Allah, the Supreme Being. Wa alamu an Allah bima ta'maluna basir. And know, understand this, get this concept. Know that all that you do, Allah is fully aware of it. He's fully, fully aware of all that you do. So don't think you can wrong anyone or get away with it. And, or you can you know hide something from Allah you can't right so you know th there's a strong threat in there for someone that would um, <clears throat> there's a strong threat in there for someone that uh, that, that thinks that they, they can get away with not doing it that was was in the best interest of the child or to cheat the other party or to wrong them in any way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees it all you can't escape yeah so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for afiyah and uh, our deen dunya and akhirah and we'll continue from here insha'Allah ta'ala wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.